what is up guys welcome on back to tk's garage i'm back and i guess we're going to go find out what's going on with the petty roosevelt you know they told me that member they walked me outside yesterday and told me it would be done today it's 1 40 in the afternoon time for me to find out what the fuck is going on with my car because this is starting to turn into another green monster situation or a collision work situation and i'm really not trying to do that i'm just not and we're not going to do that we're not we absolutely are not going to do that we're going to fucking go up here and find out what's up if the car's together and it drives and it can move out i'm just gonna i'm gonna take my car i know you guys are gonna say don't do it but i'm gonna take my car and i'm gonna take it to a different shop because you know the majority of the damage to my car was mechanical and um they're having to bring in an outside mechanic to do the work on my car anyway and yeah it is direct to usaa but i'm just i'm done i just i i'm done I'm just done <laughs> So we're going to roll up here um, to the body shop and find out what the situation is that's going on with the car and why, I, ha you know, like I was told it was going to be done by lunch today. Now, granted, I guess 142 could be considered still lunchtime. I think we're getting a little bit past that. And I just want to find out what's up. Again, I don't. I don't expect much, but I do expect what I'm told. If you tell me something, I expect that shit. I, I, again, I'm not trying to be overbearing or a problem client or customer. If the car is not going to be done today, don't tell me yesterday after you also made me look like a dumbass over the loaner car to then tell me it's not done today. That I, I'm I'm really close to saying fuck it and just get get a tow truck and tow my shit out because I'm. Um, Again, like, your word, when you say something, it's important in business, okay? You can't, it's different and you can tell a little bullshit or do whatever in your personal life, I don't care. But when you're doing business, if you want people to continue to fuck with you or continue to do business with you or you want to be able to do solid business, you got to stand on whatever the fuck it is that you say. And if unexpected shit happens, right? Some unexpected shit could happen. They could have been transporting my car from Firestone to the shop yesterday and got rear-ended or something that you know shit, shit happens and if that was the case so be it um i'm hoping that's not the case we're gonna find out why well, i haven't heard from them yet today so we'll uh we'll roll down here and see what the fuck is going on all right so we're here i'm gonna go in and find out what kind of excuse i'm gonna get today on this car um well there's my car driving right there Huh, interesting. Very interesting. Be interesting to see what the hell is going on with it, right? Oh, wow. Yep. Okay. So y'all guys didn't address the rear axle at all, huh? Well, we went ahead and took it to Ted Wing. Uh-huh. We already went ahead and did the alignment. Okay. It's not 100% all in green. They told me they did the max alignment that they could. Yeah, you know why? Because the, the rear axle's bent. So, yeah, the, the rear axle is clearly bent. I mean, this is, I mean, you can look at it right. You're a mechanic, right? Mm -hmm. Come look at this tire. Look straight down. Yeah, this is not supposed to be turning, right? Yeah. Right, look at the other one. Yeah, this one is inside. Right. Like yeah, it's bent. So, geez. this is bent. It's bent. It's like, I, like that's, I don't know how they missed that. I mean, it's got a bent axle. No, that's that light bent. This one is the light 
No, they just did. They just did the alignment. Well, like so, when I brought it here, the axle was bent because it hit on this side, mm -hmm. right? The front tie, the front rim or whatever, grenaded yeah. when it hit and almost flipped, and it came down on this side uh -huh. and it bent this in, and it's got the same bend. I guarantee you, you drive this 40 miles right now, go take it for a 40 mile run. When you come back, the inside of that tire is done. Uh, yeah, because I was feeling it right now. You can't feel it. Like, like it go. Well, a little vibration, yep. But I was like, I don't know if it was because of the alignment or something. Nope, it's not the alignment. It is these, uh... It's the axle. I guarantee it. Yeah. Just, um. Unfortunately, right now we have a sublet shop doing. We have our sublet shop doing all of our alignment work right now because we're out of. Well, this our is this is an alignment. This is an alignment. We just got back. Yeah, this is this ain't alignment. This yeah. is how it was when it got here. I understand, but they're just doing the our mechanical work as well because we were out of our me uh, mechanic. I have an, my mechanic now. It just got back from Ted Wings. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and have him put it up in the air right now. If you like, we uh, yeah, you let's go put like to wait inside while he puts it up. That, I mean, and we'll take a look. And see what I thought they were replacing the control arms on both sides. I'm gonna lift it, boys. All right. You can see it crease right here. Uh huh. Right there. Come on, man. What about this one? It looks like you hit sideways. Well, yeah. No, it came down. It came. Where to start? Well, part of the issues we're having today is because um, some of their different management that they had at the shop were at vacation at different times. The biggest issue, though, is you know, like Firestone and Firestone was a sponsor. They're no longer a sponsor, but they were a sponsor for a while. And I don't know if this is a franchise specific Firestone because it says Ted Winans or Ted Weens, Ted Weenie or whatever the fuck it is on the on the building. But the shop sent the car here to be aligned. You would think, common sense, all right, this is common sense, right? If you see the back tire is like this and like, like, like this, it's like, it's like trying to make a left hand fucking turn, all right? There's no independent rear steering in that BMW. And if you see the tire like this and you get under it, and you can see that the control arms is why the fuck are you trying to align the car? So they align it and they probably tweaked it so hard that now my traction control light is on in the car. Oh, I get there and you saw it in the video. You can clearly see the fucking wheel bent. Brand new tires getting ate the fuck up. This is not on the, the shop. It's on the mechanic that the shop hired to do the job. I get it which falls back on the shop, I understand. But the fact that, like, I explained all the areas that were fucked up on the car, the rear, the, the front, the wheels, and if you saw that rear wheel cracked and bent like you think, you would probably look at the suspension, right? Oh, boy. So now, delayed again. So we're looking at, they're going to replace both control arms in the rear just because if you do one, you might as well do both. So they're going to just do both, which I appreciate. Um, I got to reach out to USA though. They're gonna, the only tire that isn't replaced is that rear tire and it's all ate up on the inside from when it got banged and bent and I had to move it. Um, so they're going to have to replace that tire. Oh, what a shit show, man. What a shit show. Well... The good news is, you know, the, the thing that was affecting me was, you know, I had the fat bill at Enterprise because nobody talked to me about anything about the rental being up. So the shop made it right. They transferred the billing responsibility on my rental from me to them. So no loaner vehicle. I keep my rental. I'm good. Yes, I'm in this fat pig of a car, you know, the Ford Edge, but it's better than nothing. And uh, it'll get me around while we're waiting on my car to be done correctly. I'm not rushing the shop, okay? Again, for me, it's all about just, and she told me today before we left, she said, look, I'm not gonna tell you when it's gonna be done. <laughs> I'm not gonna make that mistake again. I'm not gonna tell you when it's gonna be done. 
we're going to get it done right. We're going to put the parts on. And then, this is what I liked, we're going to send it to BMW. I was like, cool, let me know. I'll call Vlad up on the phone and be like, yo, my car is coming. And hit the service manager up, let him know that it's on the way. So he can skip me over all that bullshit and it's not sitting outside for three days to get an alignment. You know what I'm saying? They'll just, I know you're going to say, TK, you're privileged. That's fucked up. Yeah, but they'll skip, I get, I get, you know, to skip the line. Relationships, I told you. Your network is way more, way worth way more than your net worth. Always remember that. So anyways, so I called him up already when I left the shop to let him know to expect my car is coming. Um, and then they'll figure out the traction control light and fix all that crap. Because all that crap is connected to the accident, right? Which also means they're probably going to say, hey, your rotors are bent. We got to replace those two. And they'll do that. And then... You know, the shop will bill USAA and everything will be done. And finally, my car will hopefully be done. It looked beautiful. You saw it in the video. I mean, the paint looked amazing. They did a, the, the way the car looked itself, tires were nice and shiny armor. Those wheels were like, oh, man. All right. So there you have it. You have an update. You know what's going on. You got to see it with me in person. Um, I'm glad that communication is getting better at the shop. And I hope that they're able to get all this stuff sorted out. So um, there you have it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. <sighs> Hopefully we get this car done right. And I get my baby back in my hands because I'm... Whew. See you all in the next video.